Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a foundation review for you all and this is over the Physicians Formula The Healthy Foundation. It has an SPF of 20 um, and it says it's for all skin types. You get approximately one ounce in here. It's a nice heavy glass bottle and silver reflective cap. I have mine in the shade LW2 um, and it does have an expiration date on the bottom for those of you wondering so that's nice to know too. This foundation is said to have Chinese Wu Zhu Yu extract and hyaluronic acid infused in its formula. It's supposed to brighten, hydrate, and even the skin tone. Its brightening complex is for all skin types and is packed with vitamins and antioxidants for healthy coverage. It is also an ultra blendable, lightweight, buildable, and breathable formula. So I would say this foundation is more geared toward making your skin healthier, hence the name, Healthy Foundation. Um, on CVS's website, this retails for $16.29. So I am actually going to prime only half of my face and not prime the other half so we can see how it wears with and without a primer. And the side that I don't put a primer on, I'm also not going to set that side taking a tip from Shay XO just because I saw her do that in a video and I thought, wow, not everyone may use a primer, not everyone may set their foundation. So this is a way for more people to get a use out of my review on this product. So what I'm going to do is take the Benefit Professional here and I'm going to apply it to this half of my face and I'll be right back. All smoothed out through there. So that's this side with the primer, this side without the primer. And I'm going to apply half of it with a brush and half of the foundation on my face with a sponge. So when you open it up, this has a huge, a ginormous doe foot applicator. It almost looks like a huge concealer applicator. And I'm just going to use this and dot it around the prime side of my face first. And on this side, I'm gonna use a brush. So I'm actually gonna use the Bare Minerals Luxe Performance Brush. This is the one that they released with their new Bare Pro Foundation. say one layer of this on this side of my face has very natural and sheer coverage I mean you can see a little less redness than you can on this side but like my cheeks where I'm the reddest is still really poking through and any kind of blemish like around my eyebrows is still there so I would say with one full applicator's worth of this on half of the face we're sitting at light coverage and it does look a little dewy at the moment I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on this side I'm gonna apply this half of my face with a sponge. I'd say overall I got smoother application with the sponge and it's a lot more dewy and luminous on the sponge side than it is the brush side, but I got more coverage out of using a brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second layer with the brush so we can see how this foundation builds up on itself. So that's about what two layers look like. I'd say we're sitting at about light medium coverage. I really don't feel like this is a super full coverage foundation. However, right now it is looking really natural and skin-like and it does give my skin kind of a healthy glow. I want to try to build this up in a few areas right here on my cheeks where I am the reddest and have the most texture. So in the areas where I needed it, I'd say this definitely built up to medium coverage. I wouldn't say this foundation has any more coverage beyond that. I'd say it's a solid medium at full capacity. I don't want to layer too much product on or risk being cakey. So this is kind of what we're going with today. I am going to set this half of my face really fast. And I think I want to use the Milani Prep Set and Go. This foundation has a little bit of a luminosity to itself. so. This shininess should come through. I shouldn't have to worry about this making this side of my face super matte and this side being still dewy and unset. Um, so I'm just gonna set that with a big fluffy brush here. Half is the unset side, and this side is the set side. So a little bit of a muted um, shimmer, but not um, too much. If I touch the side that wasn't set, it does still feel a little tacky, 
And of course this side is a little bit less tacky because of the powder on top. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and we're going to come back and talk about my thoughts on this foundation so far and if, see if it's oxidized or anything. So I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I've gone ahead and finished my full face of makeup. I can go ahead and put the products that I used down below. The rest of this look mostly is involved in another video I'm going to post, which is a full face using just eyeshadows. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and, you know, subscribe to the channel, like it, whatever. So this is what I'm going with today. The time is now 5.52 in the evening, and I've had this on for about 30 minutes. And if we look at the foundation, the side that doesn't have any setting powder really aggressively grabbed the product. It was kind of hard to blend out. That's to be expected from something that's still honestly a little tacky after application. The side that had the setting powder um, looks a little bit more matte or satin and less dewy. It didn't grab the product quite as fiercely as this side did. But overall, um, I was able to apply my, my makeup without too much of a problem. Um, on either side. I will say upon closer inspection though, when I look at the two sides, the side that doesn't have the setting powder or the primer is showing quite a bit more texture on my cheeks. I did apply some highlighters so that, you know, might be part of the reason for the emphasis, but I noticed this even before I put my highlighter on. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in. And that's kind of what we're dealing with on this side versus this side. It looks a lot more smooth and polished. I also didn't add any concealer to this because I wanted to show you guys the coverage of the foundation and how it wore on its own with as few of factors as possible. Um, I will say right now there's not a lot of creasing. I usually get a lot of creasing around my nose and my smile lines and I have like three or four really deep lines, you know, expression lines on my forehead that usually it's already settled into my now but so far it hasn't on either the set side or the non-set side. So like I said, it's almost 6 o'clock here. I will wear this for as long as I can. I'm pretty much a night owl, so I'll be up pretty late. Um, and I will check in with you at the end of the night, when, right before I'm about to take my makeup off, so we can see how this thing wore. Hey guys, so the time is now 12.01 in the evening, and this foundation has been on for about 7 hours. If you look at it closely, Honestly, they look about the same on both sides. I haven't had too much creasing. I've had a little bit of caking up here around the nose on both sides, and it's a little worse on the side where I didn't prime or use powder. And I've had some fading on my chin, but that's on both sides, and it's where I tend to get the oiliest. I had my fiance look at it, and he said that this side actually looks better than this side, which is the side that we primed and powdered. However, I think the opposite. I think this side still looks smoother and less shiny than this side does. And this side held on to its pigmentation and coverage a little better than this one did. So seven hours away is a pretty good time and I wasn't just sitting on my butt. I studied for school. I made dinner, um, which was like spaghetti and some baked garlic bread and stuff. Um, ran some errands. So I wasn't just sitting around. I was actually doing a lot of things. So this is, I think, accurate as to how it wear through a typical day. Overall, my thoughts on this foundation are I really like it. It gives a natural, sort of dewy, healthy look to the skin, not to quote the name or anything, but that's kind of what it looks like on the skin. I think I would say it's true to advertisement. It's not as buildable as it claims to be. Um, so if you're looking for something that's super full coverage, I would, wouldn't go for this one. I'd maybe go for the Maybelline Superstay or another full coverage foundation. However, I would say that this meets most of the claims that it made on the bottle and on the CVS website about being healthy looking and good for your skin um, and having SPF in it, which is nice. So there's that. If you're gonna be wearing a foundation and want something that feels light on the skin, I'd say this is a good one. It does feel a little heavy compared to what it did when I first put it on, but I've gotten kind of oily, so that's probably why I feel like it may have just kind of soaked up some of those oils and that's why it feels a little heavier on the skin, but it doesn't feel bad. If you're looking for something that's more on the natural side, more like the skin-like finish, um, that just gives your skin a healthy glow, I would highly recommend this Physician's Formula Foundation. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts and what you thought about the foundation when you tried it in the comments below. If you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!